Mazar here, Mazar 1000, rocking my new Fortune shirt. Love it, Fortune 4. Um, just have to say, Raw started off in the Raw review. Raw started off okay, you had John Cena come out to basically say that he's going to win the world title against him, it's just him and The Rock are the big story of the week. And then you have Orton come out saying he wants the next title shot. And then Dolph Ziggler comes out with Vicky, and Vicky's like, I want the next title shot. I said, no, I'm kidding. Um, but it was just kind of cool. I like that. So that was kind of cool. And then you had our truth come out saying he deserves all that. He never had one. And that's true. He's never had one since he's been there. But then we have. The GM say we're gonna have a, a gauntlet match, which that happens later on. I believe the next match we have. I'm trying to think. I believe it was a uh, come back from commercial. I think the core was in the ring. I believe. I'm not. I'm just going. I'm just trying to get everything right. And they're talking about how the, you guys aren't doing right, and then they all get arguing. And then Apple comes out, which was Santino, Daniel Bryan, Danielson, um, Evan Bourne, and Mark Henry, which is a really squash match, so it'll be an eight man tag. Daniel Bryan started the match, he basically was the match for like ten minutes and then they ended it in the four one. Justin Gabriel hit a or not Justin Gabriel, Heat Slater hit the um uh, Scorpion Death Drop. Come back from commercial. We have a thing where Sin Cara's up next. He's got a primo. The match was okay. There was some. There was some mess. They messed up in the match a couple times. Or at least once I remember it recall. I mean, I like Sin Cara. I'm a fan of what I've been seeing from what I've seen on YouTube from him. But I wasn't really that impressed with the match. Yeah, he's a high flyer. Didn't really see the great moves I was looking forward to. Like when he knocked out Primo outside the ring, I was looking for either that high cross body off the top rope or that little court screw he did to Jack Swagger and I didn't see that, I seen a Hearn Carano but Primo held his own but when he got him on top rope to do that reverse back of STO that we all seen John Morrison use well, first off Primo slipped and then Sin Cara fell off the top rope as well and they get back up and do the same thing again you can see them talking to each other then he did a flip saying basically you can see Sin Cara basically say okay are you ready and then they both flip and he wins we have a Divas match, the Bellas versus um, E for the knock, knockout. Um, Divas title and the Bellas win. Um, match wise, I think that was pretty much it. Oh, yeah, we had Jack Swagger versus the King. And if the King won, he got to pick the stipulation. Well, the King won because that was one of the most entertaining matches, I have to say. It was really entertaining. And I'm, um, uh,. So he picked a tag match. Jay, and after before this was really funny. I see. I told my stepdad, "This watch. Michael Cole is gonna pull a Bobby Heenan. He's gonna slap Jack Swagger like Bobby Heenan did to Andre. He, Andre's gonna turn like Andre turned on Bobby Heenan after he slapped him. And this has been done so many times in wrestling with managers. He's like, this is all your fault. You know what I have to do? And then he smacks him, and then Jack Swagger wanted to break him in half. So now they got to team up against Lawler and, and Jr. So that'd be interesting. And then, the shocker of the night, they've been talking all night long about this big announcement from Edge that he's going to retire. And before he comes, they see him and John Cena talking and they shake hands. Well, Edge comes out and says he's been out, he had surgery about eight years ago on his neck. And they put like a plate in his neck. And so, um, uh, and he said he's been having some pain recently. He's been doing, taking tests and stuff. Well, he said recently he's been losing feeling in his arm. And so he was a doctor basically told me he had to retire. And the crowd just erupted with, like, thank you, Edge. And that was just unbelievable. I mean, I love Walt. That was, thank you, WE. You know what? Thank you, Edge. It's for you, Edge. Thank you. I stole that from Brian from F and True, but thank you, Edge. Thank you so much. I mean, I'm going to talk real quick. Make this little Edge moment for me. One of my favorite matches I've ever seen with Edge. I don't know what WrestleMania it was. It was Edge versus Kringle, one of the WrestleMania's hair versus hair. And that match was unbelievable. That was one of the first matches I've ever seen Edge, and it was Edge versus Angle. I never thought Edge would beat Angle. 
and he did, and that match is unbelievable. He's there shaving Angle's head, and that match is awesome. If you've never seen it, check it out. Thank you, Edge, for so many great matches. I mean, the live sex show they did, that was hilarious, him and, him and Lita. I mean, Edge and Christian and Angle did so many great skits together. The five-second poses. I mean, thank you, Edge, for so many great matches. I'm so sad to see you leave. I hate that you have to retire like this. But he said it was either retire like this or he would have to be in a wheelchair the rest of his life. So I'm glad he gets to walk out on his own power and be able to leave wrestling. I hate to see him leave because... I guess now that means Christian's going to be no more contender. But back to the Raw review. I had to do that little tribute to Edge in my opinion. He's one of my favorite wrestlers, so thank you, Edge. But we had that gauntlet match. First you had it was Orton lost first because Nexus interfered. And then we had, um, uh, who was it? Oh, then it was Dolph Ziggler. Then it was R-Truth. It ends up being our truth and uh, because our truth had two matches. It'll be an our truth and Cena. They go back and forth for a while, and then we have uh, Miz, Miz and his houseboy come in and beat the crowd of both of them. And he said there's no number one contender, so we get uh, what do you call it? We get uh, a two number contender. So it's gonna be a triple threat match. So cool. I'm okay with that. R-Truth getting his first ever title shot since he's been in the WWE. Congratulations, R-Truth. I'm glad. Yes, Cena's in it, but this match was a good match because I've never seen the crowd pumped in a Raw match like that in a while. So, kudos to them. So, thank you. I love all my followers. So, thank you. I went to 15 subscribers. So, thank you, guys. Have a good evening. Bizarre 1000 here, rockin' Fortune. Fortune 4, baby. Fortune 4. So thank you. Effin' True. Have a good one. Everyone else, all my subscribers, check them out.